How did you get into the death matches? You were known for your time in CCW and some of these crazy hardcore matches. It's not typical for a female, especially when you were Precious Lucy. You were actually quite innocent looking and more of a model to you. And I remember I wasn't really paying attention. And then I suddenly saw you were doing death matches. And I was just like, what the hell happened to her? Um, it it's not something I planned. It's just something that happened. I was wrestling Serge Wu in ICW. And again, intergender was kind of new. And people were like, oh, a man and a girl. And like, it, it doesn't, it didn't click for them. They didn't get it yet. But slowly, like, I mean, on TV, China was, was doing it too. So uh, in the match with Serge, it just happened. Like he, he was known as being more of a violent, typical uh hard hitting mean heel so we started this feud and ended up in the guardrails ended up with chairs and then cookie sheets went flying and everything so it wasn't planned and it just happened like we were so into the match and everything got so like intense and people went completely nuts like we really thought there was going to be a riot <laughs> and there was like two reactions that made me like oh i need to do this one the crowd's reaction which is like wow this is special it's like they get so invested in it i need to do more and the other one was some of the boys or even the wives was like why you do this you don't need to do this you're a girl and i was like so insulted <laughs> i was like what do you mean like i i want to be treated seriously and i want you guys to see me as and equal in the ring and i have the same training and i i'm a wrestler uh yes i might be a woman but i am a wrestler too and for me i just used it i think like looking back it was absolutely necessary to do it to prove to people that my gender didn't matter and i really wanted to show that uh, i could be as tough even tougher than the boys there's another fan question related to this on here. What title belts did you hold in CZW? It's the Iron Man Championship. Okay, I see. And how was your experience working for CZW overall? We've heard some people that felt like they were a little bit abused, and of course others absolutely loved their experience there. When, when I got there, I was more of a – of a in the group pack i would say like it was more of the iws guys uh me sexy eddie frankie the mobster there was also kevin steen and al generico so we were like the canadians um and i i think at first john zending was running ccw back then he'd heard about me from my matches uh tag team matches with eddie and i don't think he took me not that he didn't take me seriously, but I think he's like, okay, there's a girl doing that. It's kind of cool. We're, we're going to use her. And when I got there, he saw that I was really serious. I really wanted to succeed, and I really wanted to push my limits and do more stuff every show. And I, I think he really understood uh, what I wanted to do, what I wanted to prove. So he's been, like, so supportive right from my first match there. And – like even there, he was like, "You're going to go in the cage of death. You're gonna, you know, I'm gonna be there. We're, we're gonna have you feud with Nick Gage, which is a very established name in CCW." Um, and yeah, I mean, I owe so much to John Zandig because he believed in me a lot more than I did. Any favorite match in particular from your time there? Uh, I really love my match with Sammy Callahan, and I had two matches with. Uh, Black Jeez, he was known as Sabian back there, that I really, really liked. I liked everything with B-Boy, too. Uh, so, yeah, th these matches are, like, very important to me and some of my favorites. What was the worst injury you've had from a death match? Um, I would say my back. Um, I did the king of the death match, and in the final I was with Necro Butcher. And there's that spot where uh, there's two open chairs and he um, gives me a sidewalk slam on top of them. And at first I didn't, it didn't really bother me, but then like my back really started to uh, 
like ache and I have hard time like walking for a while. I'm laughing, but I was not laughing back then. So I was out like seven months, like my, my back really needed a break from this one. And I mean, I've been like, I was, that was 2007. So that was like over like already 10 years in the business. So I was kind of, my body was like, okay, you need a break. So I took seven months off and I was able to come back and, and everything was fine. But yeah, that, that one really uh, <laughs> kept me out for a while. A couple of months ago, I remember seeing something on your social media that you were offended that I guess some company had sold videos containing your matches and other females to another company and they rebranded them almost like very pornish. Mm -hmm. Could you explain that situation and was it ever resolved? It was actually CZW, um, but not CZW from John Zandig. John Zandig did sell CZW to DJ High for, it's been years now, but I never had a problem with DJ and he's he's been there, uh, like we've known each other for years. So, but it's actually a fan that came up and they were announcing a match versus me and Mercedes as a sweaty cat fight. And I was like, what the hell are you talking about? And he sends me the link. And it's, yeah, it's people like Leva Bates, myself, Mercedes, Mia Yim. And the way they rebranded the matches was like uh, hot and sweaty girls, hot and heavy, a double deconstruction. And they would actually take like pictures. They would freeze our, our matches like where when we were bend over and make like posters with that. So it was really promoted as not as women wrestling but more as a porno cat fight um and and knowing my story and i was like really disappointed is really the the word because i'm like damn dj is like you know what i've been through at ccw to prove that women you know are 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 athletes and stuff and when we uh when we joined wsu when CCW bought the female division. They were like, we're going to make this like the shimmer of the East Coast. We're going to treat you as athlete. This is important. This is serious. So everything we've been promised has been turned around because they sold the footage to a third party. And, and don't get me wrong. Like we know when we perform on the show that they're going to sell footage and they got to make money out of it. It's fine. Um, we, we know that's what's happening. But never did any girl accept to be presented as a porn star um some of the girls do sexy pictures and stuff and that's their thing but as an athlete when we show up to a show uh, we are there as professional wrestlers and the shows we sign up for were named power breaking barriers um not like hot and sweaty cat fights and so that that's why I was like I called them out. I, I I did privately at first, and uh, their answer was like, "Oh, we can't do anything. We sold the footage, and they really uh, excuse my language. They didn't give a shit." So I'm like, "Okay, I, I've waited two months out of because CCW has always been important to me. So I've waited two months to give them. I'm like, they're gonna stop. They know it's bothering us." And they're going to stop, but then they did it anyway. So that's why I called them out publicly. And some of the girl came forward, girls came actually forward with even worse stories of things that were happening in that company. So, um, yeah, since then, nothing happened, and I haven't heard anything from them. And, I mean, if nothing's happening, good. Uh, I mean, if you're going to – sell the the matches do so but just use the name that the show was about and use us as wrestlers thank you for watching the hannibal tv please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews match videos or news updates support us on patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad free and help our channel grow Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.